Uganda's soccer league takes a Christmas break, but it is not the team at the top or bottom making the headlines. Instead, coaches and fans alike are talking about the dark side of the league. A local league side announced it had fired two players for match fixing. For those within the sport, none of this is a surprise. Everybody in the game, they know it. It's happening. It's been happening for a long time. Uh, for the last three years, since betting picked up in Uganda, there's been a lot of it. The real temptation for the players is in the more attractive financial incentives. And fixing a match could offer a low-risk opportunity to earn a huge pay. Not many clubs play well, play well in this country. And because of that, players will find a way of making ends meet. And what do they do? If a match-fixing agent comes from Singapore, comes from Thailand, and there's a, an opportunity that you, you give her one goal and you have your million shillings, believe me, it is a very, it's a, it's, it's a very good opening for them to actually do exactly that. Throw away game, give away goal, and, and get your pay for the next one month and you're living comfortably. Several matches here have fallen under suspicion. And the challenge is the difficulty of proving that a match has been fixed. Revelations of match fixing have yet again thrown the spotlight on the need for strict regulations in the local league. Little thought, though, has been given on what kind of punishments players should face. There's no will because people feel that um, the end justifies the means in this country. You do everything possible to win a league title. You do everything possible to win a league match or to win any, any kind of football match. So because of that, it has sort of like um, gone under the carpet and... People just don't seem to care that uh, it is something that needs to be addressed. Football's governing body, FIFA, has promised to invest millions of dollars to crack down on the problem. And as it seems, match fixing is already a problem with no signs of abetting. Leon Sanyange, CCTV, Kampala, Uganda.